little x little x little x little x little x hello guys and welcome back to the channel little x tech here and today we're going to be taking a look at the iphone 5s and why it is still a great device even though this device did came out in 2013 in 2019 and this phone is still great we're gonna find out why today now uh starting off around we have the phone in beautiful gold color you can see here chamfer edges they are it's it's an awesome device it's just beautiful we have the uh mute, mute switch on the side which if you have an iphone uh when you're in the movie theater you just flip the switch silence we have a headphone jack uh speaker and mic combo also the charging port on the side we have the sim card tray on the back we have the camera 8 megapixel with the dual tone flash now as you can see here uh, beautiful device it's still really fluid and just to show you we are going to go to settings and this phone is updated to the latest software offered by Apple as you can see here it's still upgraded it's still running great even though this phone did came out in 2013 opening up the app store as you can see here this phone still runs all the games well most of the games if you uh, count the limitations on this device it is uh, limited by an old processor of course from 2013 so I will keep telling you in this video but I still runs a couple of games so you can see here scrolling through the UI it is fluid there is no stutter whatsoever as you can see here it's fluid just as butter checking out the camera here is still great considering this phone came out in 2013 I know I'm gonna keep repeating myself but is still a awesome device it's just unbelievable how good it still is as you can see here uh video sample is still great you know you get a uh, 1080p hd 30 fps but still great the uh stills are also pretty pretty nice as you can see here i have more samples now i was recording this and this uh dragonfly decided to uh just land on my phone so as you can see here great great video this video is coming straight from the iphone 5s now this camera is an 8 megapixel camera like I said, it doesn't have a OIS, optical image stabil stabilization as you can see here. More video samples, uh, picture sample, great photos all around. If you have an iPhone, you know that why people love iPhones, the camera quality is just great. As you can see here, uh, going through the device as you can see here, is, like I said, it's still really fru fluid, it comes with like all the apps you expect the iPhone to come with. You have the new uh, news app, as you can see here, you can read the news. Now, it does take a little bit of open. Mind you, this is a phone from 2013. It doesn't have the newest processor. You can see here, it does take a little bit to load. So you gotta be patient if you uh, are, well, you might not be considering this phone for your next purchase, but you just gotta wait for it. As you can see here, lock it. And this was the first iPhone to have a fingerprint scanner. It wasn't the first phone, but it was the first iPhone that started. This started the trend of fingerprint scanners. And that's why your phone might have a new one. And it might, even, it might not even be iPhone, but the, the iPhone pioneered fingerprint scanners on new phones. As you can see here, one of the apps that I use this phone for is to control my lights. As you can see here, you can even control it from the uh, control center, swipe up, you can turn on, turn off the lights. On the inside, you also have quick actions to the Apple TV remote. If you have an Apple TV, you know that's great. Control center, just swipe up and down. That makes it go away. Going into settings here, as you can see, it's still, you know, you can add more toggles on the uh, control center, you know, as many as you want. Comes with a lot of good ones, you know. Uh, do, uh, do not disturb while driving, you know, notes. If you want to take a quick note, swipe up. And as you can see, you can add a whole bunch to here. Uh, want to scan a QR code real quick, you can do that. Low power mode, bam. You can do that straight from the control center. You don't have to go into settings. Quick shortcut to a calculator, sure, why not? Just swipe up, it doesn't matter if the phone is locked. Want a quick timer, there you go. Start two hour timer, there we go. 30 minutes, five minutes, swipe up and you can do that. This is great, you know, it's still a great uh, productivity device. As you can see here, uh, now my dad used to have this phone. He upgraded to the iPhone XR. And one of the uh, things that he did while, had, uh, while he had this phone, he uh, is a truck driver, so he drives a lot. He needs uh, navigation all the time. Even though he does know a bunch of roads, sometimes, you know, he goes to places that he hasn't been yet. So navigation is the key thing. So he used this mostly for navigation and he said it, it worked great. But, you know, it was time to upgrade now. Like I said, this phone came out in 2013. You can see here. Great. It still works great for navigation, including the uh, stock 
uh, navigation app from Apple now. He did have bad reputation. Whenever it came out, it was sending people to the wrong uh, streets. It would get people lost. But now it works great. As you can see here, pinch to zoom. It's awesome. It has beautiful detail. Awesome detail. Type of address. Now the uh, stock nav uh, navigation, the stock maps app. It has a bunch of cool features. Now, for example, here, uh, if I can type it in, right? Uh, Houston. Okay, you, pop, you open it and it has this feature called flyover. Make sure the brand is all the way up. It is, sadly. Flyover and it'll show you a 3D model of like the whole city. It'll give you basically a, a tour. So it'll give you a flyover tour of Houston. Let's say you want to travel to another city. For example, New York. You can type in New York and it'll give you kind of like a helicopter tour guide thing. Uh, guiding you through the city major uh, showing you major like uh, places that you can go visit tourism important uh, historic uh, monuments and whatnot and it is all shown to you in HD as you can see here you can pinch to zoom scroll around uh, go around the whole city just take a look at it this works great and mind you this is smooth on a 2013 phone now, I wish I could say that about most of the Androids. Now, I'm not biased. I own an Android phone. As you can see, I was recording this with an Android phone. So, so as you can see, I'm not biased in any way. Now, uh, taking a look at game performance. Now, this phone can still game. This is a heavy, a heavy game. As you will see here, uh, it will take a long time to load. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. It will take a long time to load. Now, this phone is great in uh, a lot of areas but you know some apps and some games will take a lot to load just keep that in mind i know i said you know this still this is still a great device in 2019 but you know it is a phone from 2013 so you know you got to keep your expectations kind of low just keep them level don't keep them really high so as you can see here i keep talking and talking and still hasn't loaded yet still hasn't loaded yet just waiting, waiting, taking a look at around the device. We still had a headphone jack back in 2013, LOL. Uh, don't have that no more after the iPhone 7, no headphone jack. And uh, more phones are gonna be removing that, so don't think that you're safe now. So it's gonna go away, Asian technology. Now, uh, still waiting here. I had to fast forward it, cause man, I was not gonna sit through there. It lasted literally like three minutes. But as you can see here, it's, it's quite good i mean it does stutter a little bit but this is hd gaming as you can see it's smooth this is this app itself it's close to two gigabytes and as you can see it's a lot of graphical power it's a it's a graphical intensive game and it's it runs it like nothing as you can see here so let's say you want to buy one of these for your kids they are insanely cheap you can buy one for like 50 dollars 30 dollars on ebay used uh buy one for your kid they can play games there you go you don't even have to put a sim card on it so you can see playing around it's it's responsive like i said you know it's great once it loads the games it is great but you know it'll definitely take a while to load so you can see here going through the game it's pretty good you know pretty good gaming like i showed you it's it all it's it's running it like nothing running it like a champ displaying this graphical intensive game uh, on the screen it's it's great the touch response is awesome and there we go quit out the game press the home button go back to home now, the main reason I made this video was to show off this. Now, this is called the Apple CarPlay. And Android is called Android Auto, but this is Apple CarPlay. Now, Apple, Apple CarPlay, what it does, it mirrors what you have on your iPhone screen, on your big screen, on your different infotainment system in your car. Now, this infotainment system is a 2019 system, and it's still able to keep up with a phone that was released back in 2013. Now, mind you, it is gonna stutter a little bit, but it still runs it great. Projection from your phone to your screen is seamless. Uh, only requires your charging cable, uh, plug it in, and you can run the app. Some of the apps that you have on your phone on your big infotainment screen. Now, for example, Maps. You can run Google Maps up there, Waze, uh, Apple Maps, whatever, you name it. If it's supported by Apple CarPlay, you can run it, on there, run it up there. Now, of course, you're not going to be able to run YouTube. You can't watch YouTube. You can't watch YouTube on here, even though there are some hacks that you can do. Uh, but pretty much, that's it. You can mirror your phone on your screen. It has audio books, podcasts. You know, you can see what's playing. Load up your uh, phone with a couple of uh, songs. You can stream songs as well. You download, if you download Spotify, you can uh, play Spotify on here. Uh, Apple Music, Pandora, you name it. And you don't even have to... The phone doesn't have to be on, as you can see here. 
the phone is off and it's just mirroring the screen uh up to today for infotainment screen now i'm sorry if this is a little shaky video but you know i just wanted to show off this real quick and uh that's the iphone 5s still great catch you guys in the next one peace